Yes, guys, good morning. I'm just talking uh, this morning about random aviation knowledge just for us to know, especially for young and upcoming um, flight operation officers, pilots. I'm going to be talking about um, exit and entry points. What are exit and entry points? You know, in aviation, there are certain terminologies that are used for clarity and conformity. Um, one of them is exit and entry point. Uh, uh, this simply means exit point is the last reporting point. Last reporting point. Sometimes it may be compulsory, sometimes it might be non compulsory. Last reporting point before you enter, before you, uh, I mean, before you exit a particular airspace, a particular FIR. FIR is Flight Information Region, is, um, is a flight information region which is owned by different countries. We have Kano FIR, which is a flight information region for Nigeria. We have maybe Jamila FIR, which is flight information region for Chad. And Sudan FIR, which is, you know, uh, <clears throat> Khartoum FIR, I mean, which is a um, uh, flight information region for Khartoum, Sudan. Now, every country have their own flight information region. And as such, it's um, a control zone, meaning before you enter any airspace of another country, you need their authorization. That is where um, overfly permit comes in. That's the permit and authorization for you to overfly their airspace or to land in their airspace or to land in their airport, which is landing permit, which is issued based on the airport you are going to. But overflight uh, clearance, just Nigeria, just like Nigeria now, we have. Nigeria Space Management Agency uh, in conjunction with Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority who issues overflight permits to overflyers. It might interest you to know that there are a lot of aircraft overflying Nigerian space, even as we speak. So they don't just fly overfly because they want to overfly, they have applied and gotten authorization. Same thing applies in most other countries, except some places in Europe, which okay, if you're planning your flight. Uh, you need to plan and get your slot and with that Euro control would have seen your route and have approved because it's like their own is automated if that particular route you cannot fly the flight plan you file will automatically reject with um, uh, Euro control val uh, validation flight plan validation so but for Africa here for you to overfly any part of Africa you need authorization to overfly their airspace so that is uh, overflight permit. Now, for you to fly into an airspace, there are certain routes you follow which have airways and reporting points. For non aviators, airways, just like you have road to a particular place, road to Lagos, road to Abuja, road to Kano, road to anywhere. Now you have road to US, road to uh, South America, maybe you are in Oregon, you want to drive to to Chicago and all that. Now, there's a route you follow. Same way there are routes in the air that you fly. So for you to fly this route, they are what are called reporting points and airways. These airways are actually uh, used to differentiate one route from the other. Yes, because uh, different routes have different airways. No two routes can have the same airways, unless for certain cases, special cases. Different routes have different airways. So, in these airways, you have reporting points. In these routes, that have airways and reporting points. So, the last reporting point before you exit a particular FIR of a country is the exit point. The first point before you enter a new country FIR or flight information region is an entry point. So, this is what these things mean. And before you enter all these places, you need authorization from their CA, CA of that country for you to be able to fly into their country. So these are what we call exit and entry points. And for you to file for overfly clearance permits for some countries, you require to specify your point of exit and your point of entry. You know, that will ultimately determine how much, based on your, the weight of your aircraft, how much you pay. So these are just the basic knowledge about um, exit and entry point. Next time we're going to be talking about um, why are some uh, overflights in some countries more expensive than others. 
why some countries over flight are less expensive why in some countries they are more expensive why some aircraft are more expensive to use for flight than others we're going to analyze this thing do like an operation analysis uh, you have to stay here keep subscribing keep liking and keep sharing our youtube channel it will really help you those little little knowledge that you may not get in class you can actually get it in the field and that is why we are here thank you very much and keep subscribing to lorenzo youtube channel shalom